So I give you a task of setting out this beam on the wall. You tell me how you went about it. And you're doing drop beams. Uh, so I've done the reference line program. Yeah. So I put in my two coordinates from memory. So I had uh, east ends of 209.8, north ends of 510.611 with my height of 128 flat. And then, ignore that one. Um, on my memory one, I had 209.8 east ends, but I had 550. Um, so this was my reference line this way on the plane with a height of 128 still. Yeah. So then I go into, um, so it gives me my length of my plane, which obviously I don't need to really worry about. So I go into stake. So I set my first one, obviously no height, no offset. Zero, zero, zero. Zero, zero, that will give me my, um, that point there. Yeah. So that's that, okay. so then I come back. I know it's 650 depth. So I change my height to 0 0.650. No, uh, no line or offset. That will then bring me up to my second point here. So it should be somewhere near. Mm -hmm. So then that's my second point. So I come with the uh, height zero, nope. offset 0 0.4. That should give me this point here. Let me change my height up to zero. That should then give me that point if I measure it. Yeah. So we assume that that's um, a 200 slab. So I just I left my offset at the same, but I changed my height to 0 0.450. That should bring me to that point now. Distance. And then that's my point. Okay, now. well done. That's fine. Okay. Great. Thank you very much. You've done very well. So your reference line, what was your reference line again? Just explain to me. Uh, so my reference line was from, say, this corner, but flat, obviously. You're going through the, the wall. Through the wall, along the exactly. northern, and then obviously so my heights. your east ends remain the same, your north end is increased. Yeah, my northern's gone from 510 to, I believe I put it in as yeah. 550. So okay. that's on the plane, so I worked okay. off the offset. 